the Fed is walking on a tightrope, where indeed um, conversations around stagflation uh, are starting to emerge. Um, you put your finger on you know, the downside risk, which is dramatic moves in oil prices. China, again, doing a lockdown, which is you know, one of the engines of growth that remains in the world. Um, and so there are some people who are saying, gee, if the Fed's not careful, it could hike too much and inadvertently throw the U.S. Uh, into a, a recession. However, well, maybe- they, they clearly have a clear and present danger around inflation. So they are, I think, going to signal a tendency to focus in that space. Uh, and be very prudent about how they move forward. Prudent. So it just occurred to me that maybe you do 50, and it shocks people into the notion that you are in a a, a hiking mode, but then the economy slows a little, and that's all you have to do. So you only, it's like essentially doing just two or three increases, 25, basically. Don't do it. I hear you. Don't do it. They're not going to, certainly on liftoff, (laughs) uh, they're not going to shock the market. You know, the expectation of 25 basis points was clearly signal. I think it's uh, baked in. There has been a little bit of noise around it. Um, I think the question is, what are they going to signal with these so-called dot plots? Um, How many uh, hikes are they at this stage expecting? Um, And it could be everyone from five to seven, you know, five, six, I think is what the market would expect. If the dot plots suggest maybe seven hikes, that's going to be perceived a little bit on the hawkish side. I think to your point, Joe, the other thing you're going to say is a great deal of uncertainty. I think you're going to hear more and more talk about data dependency. And certainly they're going to stay away from, I believe, the sense that they're on a uh, campaign. It's not, you know, set and forget it. We're just going to march up every meeting. Um, And that, I think, is, is a lean in your direction. Would that be a little bit of a shift? I, I think we've been less data dependent. At least that's the perception that I've gotten recently. It's like, we're going to do this. We need to get back there. We need to normalize things. Uh, we, you know, we're not sure exactly how everything's going to play out, but it'd be, it would take something very significant to knock us off that track. Now you think they're getting back to where we're going to start hearing that again, again and again. Data depend- Each rate hike doesn't guarantee that there's another one coming. Well, I think we're going to hear a couple of things that go to your point. One is we're definitely going to hear a discussion um, uh, around uncertainty. I think we're going to hear a discussion, again, to your point, that the risks from both sides have gotten larger. Uh, and I do think uh, a tendency to say this is you know, meeting by meeting. Now, meeting by meeting could be, and I think Jay Powell indicated this, perhaps some point a 50, uh, perhaps a pause. So I think it's going to be, uh, you know, in some sense, very hard to predict. But I also think to the word that I used earlier is prudent in this degree of uncertainty when risks exist on both sides for yeah. the Fed to recognize it's walking on a tightrope and it's inching its way towards its ultimate goal. Uh, and I think that's uh, the wisest decision given the uncertainty at this stage. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.